The truth about protein, are you getting enough? Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, it's great to eat more salads and vegetables and beans and peas and gluten-free grains and organic fruits and vegetables. But I'll tell you, these foods have only small amounts of protein. So those foods are great to have, but they don't have very much protein or they have very little protein as in the case of especially fruits and vegetables. And the reason I bring this to your attention is because you do need protein as well. Protein that you eat becomes your muscle tissue, the bone matrix that is able to absorb calcium and other minerals. Your immune system is made out of protein. All those antibodies that fight infections, they're all proteins. And many of the nutrients, that, that, the way nutrients are carried through the bloodstream is often attached to certain protein carriers like albumin that the body has to make from the protein that you eat. Most of the, the components within your cell are actually made out of protein, including enzymes that are in your cells that really catalyze all the biological reactions in your body. The receptors on the surface of the cells that are signaling agents, these are proteins. The brain takes certain proteins that you eat and you know, breaks them down into amino acids and uses some of them to make neurotransmitters, chemicals in the brain that allow your brain to function, for you to think, have cognitive abilities. And I, so I bring all of this to your attention because a lot of people eat fairly healthy, but they don't really meet their protein requirements. Or if they do, they're getting protein from foods that have undesirable types of fats in them that go out, start to cause heart disease or breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, or cause you know, bone demineralization leading to osteoporosis or promote inflammatory problems. So you really have to know how much protein to consume each day which is based on your body weight and your activity level. And what are the best sources of protein? How, and how many grams of protein do you get from a particular type of desirable protein food that I outlined? So I explain the whole story on proteins, and it's really not that difficult to understand, but I explain the whole story in chapter one of my book, The Machino Optimal Living Program, Seven Steps to a Healthy, Fit, Age-Resistant Body. Now, if you click on the link below, you can download that chapter for free just by clicking on the link. And I think you should because getting the right amount of protein each, each day from the right sources really affects your long-term health in a significant way. It helps preserve not only a functional body, but also a functional mind because your brain needs to use some of those protein derivatives in order for it to make it neurotransmitters and other chemicals that, that are required for normal brain function. So it's imperative that you understand protein foods and how to use them uh, in your best interest. So click on the link below, download the chapter. I think you'll be very happy that you did that. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and videos and resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references. So you'll see you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.